the effect of the new era of socialism with Chinese characteristics, its effect on the world has different impacts in different areas. For example, many countries have been bewildered as to what is the best way to develop their countries. Now they're going to have seen the success of China and they're going to spend more time studying the Chinese way. Some people call it the Beijing consensus as opposed to the Washington consensus. But the, the new era will have an effect on developing nations around the world who will want to understand the Chinese method, the Chinese way forward. A second impact is, of course, in the area of uh, world growth. Uh, the West is stuck. Since 2008, in fact, even before that, in 2007, growth was coming to a standstill at 2%, something like that, 2-3%. The problem for the West is where to get the growth that they need to deliver a better standard of living for the people and profits for their companies. Where is it going to come from? It's clearly not going to come from the West, where there's huge amounts of money stuck in QE and where there is a, a lack of new consumer demand because of the scale of consumer debt. The best opportunities are the continuation of growth in China, which accounts for over 30% of world growth, and the development of BRI and the development of an industrial revolution in Africa. It is China that is going to be the stimulus for growth for the benefit of the West. If the West decides to fall out with China, the West has nowhere to go. So it makes sense for the West to work out how to work with China to take advantage of the growth. I think the, the third area where it's important is the effect of um, the new era on the minds of people around the world. Uh, at the moment, people are aware that China is important, but they don't have much sense of China in their daily life. I think that the new era speaks of China being more proud, as it should be, of its history, its civilization, and what it's achieved, and being prepared to project that to others. Uh, people project to China their ideas, their, their, their thoughts. China will, in its new era, project itself more on the world stage. And lastly, China has shown in the last five years that it is committed to helping uh, create a world of shared objectives. Uh, President Xi Jinping spoke about that in Davos and he's repeated it again in several places. A concept of the world working together to try and achieve sustainable economic development. The new era is essentially in world terms about trying to get countries to work together to create sustainable development and solve problems through negotiation and diplomacy rather than through aggression and war. And that's a very new challenge for the world to change its way of thinking from a world which for 3,000 years has been based on empires and resist fight empires fighting and resisting to empires for a world of a multipolar world working together to try and solve uh, tensions and create sustainable development. And uh, some people wonder whether it's achievable. I have, I say to them, you know, people have been saying this about China for 38 years. Uh, China will achieve its objectives. It may be, they'll be a little bit different from the ones they say today, but in general, China is embarking on this after a lot of preparation, a lot of testing, and uh, I, w I would think uh, China's a pretty good bet. You know, the, the new era in China is a new era for the world. It will have an impact way beyond China's borders.